Welcome uh, to another quick tip on how to do things in Corel. Uh, I remember somebody asking about how to get text and stuff uh, to kind of fit a shape. And I believe I remember that it was uh, about a wine glass they had seen. It was done in that. So uh, that's what we're going to do in this uh, particular video here. Now what I've done is, uh, in advance here a little bit, is I just took and went ahead and created this that's uh, sort of resembles a wine glass. Now you could do other words and stuff and diff different things. And I'm going to show you two methods here. This one here is because of the way I pre-laid the uh, lettering out, works uh, fairly good right off the bat. Uh, uh, if you had the lettering laid out a little bit different, uh, you, you'll probably want to use the uh, second method. It's actually the same method with a variation that I'm going to show you just a little bit later uh, in this video. Uh, anyway, one of the things that you want to do to start with is to go up to uh, your menu bar at the top of Corel and click on Window and then go to Dockers. And scroll down that and make sure you check the envelope uh, docker and that's going to put the envelope docker open over here it's going to make it uh, available for you to use and you're going to really need to use that so when we do our text in this uh, case uh, we want to take and group them all so they're all in a group I'm going to ungroup this just a minute so arrange and ungroup and we've got just text here and uh, it's a little bit smaller. Now this I converted to uh, curves uh, to uh, do this a little bit better, but it's really uh, you know up to you. But anyway, so we're going to come in here. We we have to group everything that we're going to do at one shot. So you, we can do a range and group, or we could do a control G either way. Now with that selected, we want to come over here to our envelope. Uh, Docker and you see the little eyedropper there we want to Create from and Now we're going to take that big old black arrow and we're going to put it in the center of The vector of our wine glass and we're going to click on that Now we have several options over here and you may need to play with these There's horizontal original putty and vertical for this one, We're going to use uh, putty and so once we have this uh, set with the putty and we've selected with the eyedropper and then clicked out in the middle you're going to see this uh, pointer change on here and it's waiting for us to come over here and click apply we're going to click apply and now you'll see that this has uh, pretty much fit the shape we would probably want to do some adjustments on that so what we could do then is just go back to this if and uh, to our regular pick tool and then do a range and ungroup and once we've ungrouped you're going to see that each of those is individual so we could come down in here at this point and we could expand these over a little bit to make them a little bit bigger And then I'm going to go ahead and bring all these back into a group. Now I'm going to hit C to kind of center them to each other and then Control G to group them. And then I'm going to line those up with that I up there. And so we basically created a deal. If I'm going to go in here and do a Control G, grab all that. And we basically created our thing there. Now you probably noticed I had another one over here so I wouldn't have to undo all this. I'm going to slide this one off to the side. And I'm going to bring this one which is the same thing. And this I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ungroup it. 
so that I can select different aspects of it. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to break some of this up. So we're going to, I'm going to do it real simple. I'm going to come here and grab the rectangle tool. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to draw this rectangle right here. And I'm going to maybe bring it up a little bit there. And once I've got that rectangle tool there, I'm going to select the rectangle tool. And I'm going to I'll hold the shift key down and select the class behind it. And I'm going to come up here on this bar and you want to select the one that says intersect. So we intersect that. Now I'm going to take another uh, rectangle. And I'm using rectangles just because it's easier. And let's say I'm going to put that about right there. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get my select tool and I'm going to intersect. And I'm going to do one more on here. I'm going to grab all up here. And I'm going to take get my select tool again. And I'm going to select underneath and I'm going to hit the intersect. So now if I get rid of my rectangles, you're going to see different lines in there. And if we select those, if we wanted to get them all out of there and we'd select, them, select it over there, you'll see that I've got now the original behind it and I've got the wine glass that's in three parts. So just to get this out of our way, I'm going to drag that way over there. And I'm going to go ahead and select this whole thing. And I'm going to drag it back over so we can we can see it. So now we've broken this down into three parts. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to select my wine, my eyedropper, put it in the bottom, hit apply. I want to then select, oh, let me escape out of there. I want to select my drink and I'm going to have to group these because I want them all together. And I'm going to select those and then I'm going to put those in the stem and I'm going to hit apply. Go back to my select tool and I'm going to grab all these on top. I'm going to group them, select them, throw them in there and apply. So what we've done in this aspect is we've broken it down uh, into three uh, sections and took it in there and you can see how the uh, word drink going down the stem actually came out totally different we got a little bit more wrap on our bottom drink by breaking this up and then sticking each uh, word in there uh, so anyway you know that this is basically how you do it uh, you may have to play with the different uh, types of uh, methods over here, whether it's horizontal, original, vertical putty, because they're going to work differently and better based on different things. But uh, that, that's basically how you do it. Now, what I'm going to include uh, down, uh, if you're viewing this on the Boomstrike site, uh, down below the video uh, pane here, uh, you're going to have a download link, and it's going to include uh, this whole set of... Uh, wine glasses and of course I didn't group all that back together but it, you'll be a PDF with all those wine glasses in it uh, that you can use uh, uh, in your artwork and to play around with and whatever you want to do so uh, anyway uh, hope this was helpful and till the next one keep coming back keep coming back to the site if you like the videos you like the uh, downloads the free downloads and stuff uh, Please share the uh, deal, uh, the site, and uh, or show that you like it. Something like that. We'll keep doing it. You know, if people are interested, I'm going to keep doing it. Keep hunting down videos. Keep making videos. Till next time. Thank you very much.